Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me peace. In my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me. Give me love in my life. Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me, give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me. Give me love in my life. Lord, your love. 
Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace and give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. You're the love in me. Give me love in my life. Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Good morning, everyone. Please stand. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please join us in our entrance hymn, Be Not Afraid, can be found on your program.
please be seated. My nephew Stefan and I always thought we would be standing here together, but Stefan is in Spain and he's unable to be here. We did, however, write the eulogy together. Catherine was born Katun Mohammed at their home in Four Roads, Tamana, on the 21st of July, 1936. She's the eldest child of Nobuta Sidanu and Ashik Mohammed. Her brother Rafik Sidanu was born two years later followed by Rudolf, Erica, and William. From childhood, mom was taught the value of service to others, generosity, and selfless giving by her mother, who provided food to others in the community, even when they themselves were not sure where the next meal was coming from. Her mother was also the one who taught her impeccable manners, which mom then shared with and instilled in her own children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. Mom's favorite childhood teacher was Mrs. Emmanuel. Described her as well-behaved, good little girl, obedient to parents and teachers, even under challenging circumstances, and bright in her subjects, who was a highly respected imam in the community. Mom was well-liked at school and showed her keen intelligence, love of literature, and courage at a young age by representing her school, Kumuto Roman Catholic. Mom was an astute businesswoman in her own right and determined that the best way to move forward was to use the valuable building assets to transition the core business away from bakery and ultimately build what is currently the largest walk-through shopping center in Arima. She continued to work hard and participate in the running of the business throughout her life as a key decision maker and managing director. Mom continued to travel. However, she became more interested in traveling on pilgrimages rather than for pleasure. She visited many historical and biblical sites, including the Holy Land, Lourdes, Fatima, Guadalupe, Medjugorje, to name a few. She also visited several basilicas and monasteries, including that of her favorite saint, Saint Catherine of Siena. Throughout her life, Mom's devotion to her faith grew and she became more involved with the Catholic Church and continued selflessly giving of her time and energy. She offered her home as a venue for prayer meeting and weekend retreats for parish groups. As an active member of the Precious Blood Prayer Group, she was involved in all aspects, including vigil, counseling, evangelization, and healing. Mom was commissioned as an extraordinary minister of the Eucharist on the 27th of February, 1994, right here at Santa Rosa RC, and was invited to become a member of the Precious Daughters of the Beloved in January of 2001. And then she went on to become a core leader for the group. One of her greatest achievements, however, was being commissioned as a lay minister in July 2009 by His Grace Archbishop Edward Gilbert. Mom's love for her family was ever present. She was the proud and loving grandmother of 12 grandchildren, Stefan, Chanel, Nicole, Tamara, Nadine, Nadine, Farouk Jr., Hollis, Philip, Camille, Tony, and Luke, and five great-grandchildren, Hope, Jordan, Caden, Jasper, and Elias. Mom was a shining example of wife, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother, and gave of herself tirelessly to her family. She was and is dearly loved by all, and, right, and rightly said by someone, she's greater than life. Mom may have been small in stature, but huge in personality. Our loss is the Lord's gain. Uh, 
a few words from the grandchildren uh, that could not make it. Uh, from Nicole. Grandma, you're the most fun-loving person I have ever met. I will always carry your philosophy of life in my heart and say goodbye to you today. You will live on in all of us, and we will not stop talking about you and your experiences. Love you forever, Nicole. From Nadine Schindler, um, I feel so grateful and blessed to have such an exceptional woman as my grandma. She was the most loving and caring person I have ever met. You always had an open ear and only advice with your best interests in mind. Her big heart captured many others, and she left a great mark in this world. Although I'd have liked to have had so much more time with her in this life, I do believe she has had a fulfilled one. Her sweet and caring personality, as well as her laugh, will never be forgotten. I will ransom them for the power of the grave. Hosea 13, 14. From Camille Bopa. I can say confidently that grandma has impacted many people in her lifetime. The matriarch of the family, she was our very own Queen Elizabeth. She embodied power and grace and meshed these seamlessly. Her spirit always lit up the room and her laughter was infectious and heartwarming. Some of my fondest memories are Christmas mornings with grandma. When I last saw her over this past summer, she sang me a Christmas song one last time and almost as if she knew. Grandma, you will be incredibly missed. I'm so blessed I've had such a beautiful soul in my life. Thank you for everything that you were. I love you until we meet again, Camille. And lastly, Philip Schindler. Hello, Grandma, it's Philip, your grandson, Anne-Marie's son. I was in Trinidad last year with mom visiting you for the first time. Because of my family circumstances, I was actually separated from you all of my life and yet you were and always will be there. When you invited me last year and I got to meet you, I thought I was meeting someone foreign, but I got to know my real roots. It was as if I had known you forever. Every time I think of you, I have a smile with love. It is impossible to look or think grumpy when I have to think of you. You have one of the most wonderful souls I can meet. I still feel safe and loved when I think of you even though you're no longer in this world. No one laughed as heartily with love as you. I love to think about you. I've been looking for a direction for a long, long time of my life, and I never found it. My father influenced me very negatively and told me that you are not good company, and he never believed in God. He even tried with all his might to convince me that there would be no God. He was wrong. You and I, we both know that. There's one reason why I'm so convinced of the Bible and God, and that is you. You brought us all there. You prayed for us all. You gave us the principle of charity. You led us all on the right path. You're the reason why we're all here now, and that we have something to eat and a roof over our heads. I am so grateful to be able to call you my grandma and that I was able to get to know your wonderful soul again last year. Everything I will do, I will do with you and grandpa in mind. I know that you are now with him and Farouk and my little cookie in heaven. Now it is time to say goodbye to this world. Unfortunately, I can't be there in person to say goodbye to you, but I'm with you with love and soul, and I hug you and all of you who came. I know we will meet again. Catherine Bopa, I take my hat off to you and your life's work full of love for all of us. I will always carry you in my heart. With all the love that I carry in my heart and that God has given me, I say, see you soon, your grandson, Philip. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned Samuel,
Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Catherine, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and we'll have our first reading. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When Hannah had weaned Samuel, she took him up with her together with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour and a skin of wine. And she brought him to the temple of the Lord at Shiloh. And the child was with them. They slaughtered the bull and the child's mother came to Eli. She said, if you please, my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who stood here beside you, praying to the Lord. This is the child I prayed for, and the Lord granted me what I asked him. Now I make him over to the Lord for the whole of his life. He is made over to the Lord. There she left him for the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. My heart exalts in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. My mouth laughs at my enemies as I rejoice in your saving help. Response, my heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, but the weak are clothed with strength. Those with plenty must labor for bread, but the hungry need work no more. The childless wife has children now, but the fruitful wife bears no more. Response, my heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. It is the Lord who gives life and death. He brings men to the grave and back. It is the Lord who gives poverty and riches. He brings men low and raises them on high. Response, my heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. He lifts up the lowly from the dust from the dung heap he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, to give him a glorious throne. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, on them he has set the world. Response, my heart exalts in the Lord my Savior. of Jesse, set up as a sign to the peoples, come to save us, delay no more. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit exults in God my Savior, because he has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this day forward, 
all generations will call me blessed, for the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name, and his mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm, he has routed the proud of heart, he has pulled down princes from their thrones and exalted the lowly. The hungry he has filled with good things, the rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, of his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home. The Gospel of the Lord. These are the readings we will hear when we go to Mass today, wherever we go to Mass today. And one of the values I find in keeping to the readings of the day that are given for the Mass is we reflect together with the rest of the Christian community. So we stand in solidarity and faith, hearing these same words and being enriched by God according to what he wants us to receive. The first reading from the first book of Samuel, it is part of the beautiful story of Hannah. And Hannah is such an outstanding figure in the Old Testament. She's only spoken of in two chapters in the Bible, in the first book of Samuel, chapter 1 and chapter 2. And because her story is so short, it's easy to overlook her and pass on. Fortunately, we get a glimpse into her life during the Advent season. Hadva Hannah was one of the two wives of Elkanah. The other was Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had none. Infertility is a regular theme in the Bible. And it has brought a lot of pain and loneliness to the people whose lives were affected by it. And we have several of them that are part of the salvation history story. We have Sarah, Rachel, Rebecca, Hannah of today's reading, Manoah's wife, which we read yesterday, and later on we'll read of Elizabeth. Infertility was almost a scourge. So Hannah was jeered at and mocked and scorned by Penina because Penina had children, she didn't, you know. In her pain, Hannah poured out her life to God. And the one thing she prayed for, that God would take away that shame and grant her the gift of a son. Eventually, God did hear, and Hannah gave birth to Samuel. And today's reading says, when Samuel was weaned, Hannah took him up to the sanctuary at Shiloh, and she gave him to the priest, Eli. And there Samuel remained for the rest of his life, you know. And we, we, we read of him as the prophet Samuel in the Old Testament, you know. When we consider Hannah's life as a whole, there are several lessons we can learn from her. One is how to deal with everyday trials, because that was part of Hannah's personal story. And what did Hannah do? She bore it patiently, and she turned to God for help and strength. Secondly, how to deal with being mocked or scorned. What did Hannah do? She did not retaliate, and she did not think of taking revenge. The third thing is how to deepen healthy motivation. What motivated Hannah in her life to be the way she was? And it had to be her faith. She trusted God, 
And she trusted that whatever happened in her life, it was because of God. And whatever will happen in her life later on, it will be because of God. She trusted God. You know. The fourth thing is how to process emotions through prayer. What do we do when we have our different emotions? You know. For Hannah, she took them to God in prayer. You know. She prayed about how she felt. She prayed about the, exa the experiences she was having. She prayed to God about everything that was taking place in her life and how she felt about them. And the fifth is how to give glory to God. In the end, the one thing that Hannah prayed for so dearly was the one thing she turned around and gave away back to God, thinking that if God could give her such a good gift, a special gift, then she would make her son Samuel back to God as gift, you know. And she rejoiced in God because of it, you know. Luke's gospel story speaks of Mary's Magnificat. Mary was described as the handmaid of the Lord. So she was a handmaid or a servant. That means her whole life was dedicated to God. It means also that as a young girl, she was conscious of her relationship with God and her responsibilities to her faith life, you know. So even from a young age, she learned to put God first in her life and she learned to trust God totally, you know. The Magnificat expresses the gratitude that Mary had for God for the immense gift that he has given her. And out of her deep trust, anybody can use the, the Beatitude, the, the Magnificat, to speak of God's providence in their lives and to speak of God coming into their lives to bring about what would, would otherwise not take place. So the Magnificat is a prayer for those who don't have hope, or who are losing hope, or who are at the last end. So much of our Advent season, the time we are in now, is simply about finding hope in God, and eventually rejoicing in God, because God brings such tremendous blessings to us. Every day we can see it. When we look back at Hannah's life in the first reading, she had no hope of giving birth. She poured out her heart to God. Mary had no expectation of giving birth. But they were both open to God's grace, simply by the manner of their life. You know. And they both rejoiced later on. Hannah, because of the gift that God has given and an answer to her prayer, and Mary, because God had entered her life so deeply. Hannah's song of praise, we find it in the first book of Samuel for the greater part of chapter 2, is a sort of a foundation for what we have in the gospel story as the Magnificat. When Hannah gave Samuel up, she praised God for his goodness to her. She praised God for bringing hope and faith into her life so deeply. She praised God for all the things that he has done. She praised God for the things that only God could do. And today we read that Mary sang the same kind of song to God. And we call it the Magnificat, you know. The thing then is, God intervened in the life of so many people throughout the Bible. Why? Because the Old Testament tells of one simple story. When it comes to salvation, and when it comes to God's love for us, everything depends on God, not us, you know. So God intervened in the lives of all the people who could not have children to make them become fruitful. Not because of them, but because God 
has his own way and his own plan and he brings his own blessing to us and moreover when it comes to salvation salvation is going to be by God's grace not by human merit you know we are saved no matter who we are and how we are God saves us because he loves us God saves us because he wants us to be close to him I had a friend she died a few years now but she used to always remind me she said I love the vacation time you know why she had three children and she said I will have the children all to myself all day long you know I think that is the way God thinks about us you know he saves us because he wants us to be with him for all eternity we can thank God for that we can trust God for that you know whether it is by happy coincidence or by divine intervention these readings from the story of Hannah and the Magnificat from the story of Mary they speak so much about Catherine's life I really believed she knew how to bring her everyday trials to the Lord and she certainly knew how to bring her everyday joys to the Lord she persevered in faith her faith life was one thing she never gave up never abandoned never found was too much to celebrate you know she knew how to rejoice because of God and she was not shy about celebrating that she was not shy about celebrating charity towards others As Samantha said, Catherine was a, a petite woman, but she made a huge impact on the people who knew her and the people who simply saw her coming in, you know. And I think whenever she walked in, you knew. You couldn't miss her, you know. Today, we pray that God who raises up the lowly and who fills the starving with good things will now raise Catherine up to eternal life and that is the faith we celebrate together eternal rest grant unto her O Lord may she rest in peace let us stand God the Almighty Father raised Christ his son from the dead and so with confidence we ask him to save all his people both living and dead for Catherine who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life that she may now be admitted to the company of the saints Lord have this Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. For our sister who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for those who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the mourners, for the family and friends of our sister Catherine, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, 
that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us take a moment to pray for our own intentions. Lord, hear us. And let us ask our Lady's intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated and we shall have our offertory. And my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, 
For the salvation of your servant, Catherine, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith.
Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Rose of Lima, St. John Vianney, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Look graciously on the sorry, to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at the passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Remember Catherine, your servant, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, she who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. When, when from the earth he will raise up, he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly bodies or after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. When you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing your own, for seeing you, our God as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say oh, what in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy, name. Thy, thy, kingdom kingdom come. Come. thy kingdom come thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven, heaven. Give, give us this day our, our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us and lead us and not lead us into temptation, not into temptation but, but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For 
the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And a sheer sign of peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be
Litany of praise and thanksgiving for Catherine Bopa. Father God, we gathered here today to praise you and thank you for the gift of your daughter, Catherine. For her parents, Ashok and Noberta, and her childhood in Kumuto, we give you thanks. For her favorite teacher, Mrs. Emmanuel, we give you thanks. For giving her the grace to manage a business and the family without dad for 33 years, we give you thanks for giving you the grace to be a good, faithful, hardworking, supportive wife. We give you thanks, O oh Lord. For her dedication to her husband and children, we praise you, O oh God. For giving her the gift of wisdom to guide her children and grandchildren and to encourage their education, we praise you, Lord. For giving her the gift of hospitality, and a genuine love for people. We praise you, Lord, for the impact the charismatic renewal had on her and her spiritual development. We praise you, Lord, for her love of learning the Bible and the many Bible classes, retreats, conferences she attended. We thank you, Lord, for her involvement in the Precious Blood Prayer Group and the Precious Daughters of the Beloved. We praise you, Lord, for all the deep lasting friendships formed while in these groups, we praise you, Lord. For her acceptance into the sodality of the children of Mary at Santa Rosa Church on the 24th of May, 1950, and the start of her life in the spirit in May, 1989, thank you, Lord. For her initial commissioning as a Eucharistic minister in 1994, and commissioning of lay minister at Santa Rosa, we thank you, Lord. For her faith formation and very deep devotion to Mother Mary, we praise you, Lord. For giving her the grace to praise and thank you all the time, no matter what, all the time, we praise you, Lord. For giving her the strength to stay with us, long enough to allow her children and grandchildren 
time to say goodbye and express their love, we praise you, Lord. For the companionship of Maurice, Marvin, Aaron, Gabriella, White, we praise you, Lord. For blessing her with gentle, kind, and loving companion, Maurice Alcedo, we thank you, Lord. For blessing her with competent and compassionate doctors, we praise you, Lord. For all the kind and gentle nurses at Medical Associates, we praise you, Lord. Together we sing, give thanks with a great heart. For Arthur Lee and Laura Nicholas, and the members of the Grace Ministry, Constance Reyes, the People of Praise Ministry, we thank you, Lord. For the many priests who have become really good and close friends, we thank you, Lord. Mom, one of Mom's favorite songs is um, Que Sera Sera, and we'd like to sing that now. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Catherine may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Trusting in God, 
we have prayed for our sister Catherine. And now we come the, to the last farewell. There is always sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see her again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of God's kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Father of mercies, we commend our dear sister in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for all the blessings you bestowed on Catherine in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with your saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, Turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain, to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. Because God has chosen to call her from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth, for we are dust and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For Jesus is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace 
and raise up her body on the last day. We bow our heads and we pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May she rest in peace. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your minds and hearts in the knowledge of God and of his Son, Jesus. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We remember how you loved us to your death And still we celebrate for you are with us here And we believe that we will see you when you come In your glory, Lord Catherine, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham where Lazarus is no longer poor. May you find eternal rest. Now, dear sister and friend, go in the peace of Christ. We remember how you loved us to your death and still we celebrate for you are with us there and we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory Lord We believe. Catherine, now go in the peace of Christ and we say, thanks be to God. Please join us in our recessional hymn, I'm walking on my way to the Lord.
Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. Your love in me. Give me love in my life. Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see your love in me. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see you're the peace in me give me peace in my life lord your peace give me joy in my life lord your joy give me joy in my life lord your joy give me joy that everyone can see you're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. 
You're a loving me, give me love in my life, Lord, you're right. Give me peace in my life, Lord, you're peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, you're peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me, give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me, give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your life. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. You're the love in me. Give me love in my life. Lord, your life. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life. Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life. Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your life. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. You're the love in me. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me peace that everyone can see. You're the peace in me. Give me peace in my life, Lord, your peace. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. Give me joy that everyone can see. You're the joy in me. Give me joy in my life, Lord, your joy. I love you, Grandma, so much. Give me love in my life, Lord, your life. Give me love in my life, Lord, your love. Give me love that everyone can see. You're the love in me. Give me love in my life, Lord, your